Well, folks, uh, Jerry here, and welcome back to the build up of the 2005 Subaru Impreza. So, uh, we're currently here just uh, looking at it because um, that's a productive thing to do. Anyway, oh, great, the game's broken, so let me just fix that. Nope. Uh, will this fix it? Yes, here we go. Okay. So, as you guys can see, I changed the wheels on it for the sake of making a video because these wheels are completely glitched. So, there are these ones apparently. So, these are normal ones, and these ones don't look anything like they should be looking at. I mean, uh, looking as I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we are here, and uh, as you guys can see from the rating, I did upgrade the whole car to stage 2, which is pretty nice. So, uh, it went from I think 16.36 or something like that to 16.48 so uh, it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and just see that I didn't miss anything all should be stage 2 nope double click that my bad okay I think I actually didn't I yeah I think I actually upgrade this directly after um, the part one so let's see come on my clicking is not on point right now obviously the axle slash drive shaft or whatever was left on stock because well yeah it's a useless part only adds weight so let's see <clears throat> all is alright right now which is nice Still haven't mastered the launch though, which is a bit worrying, you know, because uh, I think there's only like one part left. I don't know, I need, uh, I need to get some really nice rims for it, uh, preferably great ones, and um, yeah, it should be fine then. So we got all the jump parts as well, which we, um, we did uh, put them on in the previous episode, which is nice. So yeah, let's go ahead, test it out, see how it runs. Uh, also, I did a couple of test runs earlier, and the uh, um, glitchy engine thing is gone, which is nice. And we managed to get into a bot lobby. Holy shit! It's gone well with the super builder. Like we always get a bot lobby, which is pretty nice. I did a couple of runs today, um, mainly you know to uh, get better reaction times and I, uh, I'm not very good at it, but uh, I mean I did get a 0 0.006 once out of like, I don't know, 10 tries, I don't know, it's, uh, it's not very amazing and you know, I, my racing isn't very, well, optimal at the moment, but you know, if I just like keep on racing, it should be fine, I don't know. Maybe, we'll see. I messed that one up. Even though the card is performing well, you know. I mean, it is a pretty competitive card, especially in the 56 lobby. Um, I don't know. Like, I think people said that 1656 is the max rating, so we're gonna uh, find that out in the next episode, I guess. Let's see. Uh, Freak, come on. So many boss though. So it's a welcome addition. Wow. Yeah, this is as perfect as it's gonna get. I have no clue what I've even done. But let's see. That, that was an extremely good run, like, and lucky as well, because I have no clue what I had done. But you know, 10.12, uh, you know what, I'll take it. With a perfect run, you could probably get uh, up to 10.1, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get uh, as lucky as I, I just did again. So yeah, let's, uh, let's check out the chat. We are back. Well, you guys didn't even see it, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and actually upgrade the car to stage 3, so you can take a look at the professional setup that I'm just gonna create right now, uh, and, you know, maybe use it on your car, let's see. Um, so, you know, tuning is actually not very difficult, uh, when you just, you know, look at the stats and you see which one uh, 
basically adds the most power and you know you can take a look at the ratio between power and weight and can it's pretty, it's a pretty logical thing um you know doing the car see this part uh oh, it wouldn't make sense so we're gonna leave that let's see this one crankshaft yeah we're gonna go with this one Hmm. I mean, who puts a part like this on their car? Like, even in real life, if this exists, probably doesn't, but still, like, so broken. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with that. I mean, like, part removes, uh, removes, like, one weight unit or whatever, and, like, removes, uh, or, you know, decreases the power by, like, six. So, you know, it's, uh, fucking broken. Um, anyway. Not not broken, you're just not logical to, you know, upgrade. Let's see, we're gonna go with shit, hold on. So, four. Hmm. I know like I know that fuel systems uh, usually B or C uh, are pretty even. I know like it's like the difference uh, between, you know, the power on boat is like zero point uh, nine. Close to that, but you know Weight is uh, it's the four. So let's see. I'm gonna go with this one. Um, you know because power seems to be more important than weight. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Thankfully, uh, the whole um, what is it? What, what's this? Drive train. Yeah, all the drive train units are uh, drive train, not drive train. That that's. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, they are extremely logical to upgrade, and yeah, I don't see many people mess this up, so, you know, that's nice and simple, and, you know, extra drive shaft, no one fucking loves you, or likes you even, um, so they're gonna leave that, go and see, also, I have a little bit of an update on the Civic Pink slip -in. um, it didn't really go, uh, according to plan, and I lost all but one, so, yeah, that's, I really didn't work out, uh, work, uh, work out very well. God, um, I should pay more attention to what I'm saying, but I don't know. Should try to get some sleep for the love of God. Okay, Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Nope, that's the part we were just on. Okay. Let's go. Come on. I need a freaking mousepad, like I'm playing without one at the moment uh, cause the last one is, well, basically fucked, so, yeah so, <clears throat> okay, turbo pipe, uh, no, this is turbo down pipe, okay cause like, uh, on some cars, uh, it, you just shouldn't upgrade because it actually slows the car down, so we're gonna actually take a look at the, uh, at the car when it's maxed and we're gonna see if you know we benefit from it or you know we should just remove it let's see here we go so the car isn't very expensive to uh, you know max out either which is really nice it is b-class uh should we should we yeah we're gonna upgrade it now but i'm not sure if we're, we're actually gonna need it so we'll see that uh we'll you know check it out later but anyway uh that should be it so that was my professional no it's not the the real setup perhaps we're gonna like remove the turbo pipe or intercooler uh or, you know decrease the i don't know uh upgrade level on them or whatever uh, but for the next episode, I'll make sure to get some nice SRMs and uh, probably some matte, uh, matte paint on this car, because, uh, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna look really nice. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, I'm Jerry, and uh, that's it.